With summer storms on the radar and power outages very likely, how would you go about setting up your SIG Energy battery for the potential blackouts? Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to set up your battery for a blackout in the SIG Energy app. You may ask, why do I need to change my settings before a storm? Now, most of the time in a blackout, your battery will automatically back up your priority circuits. That also depends on what circuits are connected on the backup side of the gateway. Um, that is usually discussed with the installer on the day. However, there are a few things you can do to make sure that you are in the best possible position for a power outage. So some of those things you can do is making sure your battery is fully charged, which you can do from both your solar and also the grid itself. So you can charge from the grid to your battery before there's a power outage. So you've seen the storm on the radar, still on the other side of the city at the moment, but you know it's coming your way. So you've got a bit of time up your sleeve. So one of the best things that I'd recommend is charging the battery from the grid, getting that battery up to 100% and then keeping it 100% just in case you get that power outage at 6.30 just when you're trying to cook dinner. On a regular day, your battery would normally be operating in one of these three modes. So you've got SIG and AI mode, you've got self-consumption mode, and you've also got time-based control mode. We have another video detailing the, these modes in further detail. Uh, you can find that in the link below. You should give that a watch because it's pretty interesting. But basically on a regular day, your battery is gonna prioritize charging from solar, or say if you do have a time-based control, charging from the grid when the energy is cheaper at nighttime. But when you've got storms approaching, you wanna get that battery nice and charged so it's going to extend the amount of time that you can be in a blackout. Of course, once that sun comes up the next day, your solar should kick in and start charging the battery as well. So as you can see here, I'm currently in self-consumption mode. So that is obviously gonna be the best one for blackout protection. I then click there. And so what I can actually do is go into instant manual control. What I can do there is I could go charge for 120 minutes and start using. So what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to pull power from the grid as fast as it can. That's very bit dependent on your inverter itself. It does take a little bit of time to start working. Probably doesn't help the fact that my battery is already fully charged. So by selecting that setting, what it'll actually do, if my battery wasn't already at 100%, which is pretty awkward, I'd actually be able to pull in 20 kilowatt hours from the grid to make sure that battery's charged before that storm does get here. So say if it was a cloudy day, we all know that storm's coming. My battery didn't get fully charged. I left the aircon on, or I happened to charge the, the Tesla earlier in the day, and I'm not at full charge by the time that storm gets here. I've then got two hours to charge that battery up. The bigger the inverter, generally the more power I can push back into that battery. So I've currently got a 32 kilowatt hour SIG Energy battery. So I could essentially put two thirds into that battery in that time. Another couple of settings I'd recommend to change would be to make sure that you set your re reserve energy for grid outage, which can be found in the backup reserve part of the settings. So if you select that, you then drag the bar, put it over, to 100% reserve. Click save, and what that'll do is once that battery is fully charged, it's going to stay charged until there's a grid outage, which means you may be buying some power from the grid, but you're gonna have a full battery ready for the blackout. Another interesting feature with SIG Energy is it does have a stormwatch function. So if you click on stormwatch, it'll give you a couple of different options. So backup settings, so if there is a severe weather event on its way, it'll enable backup three hours before that you are set to be impacted by the, the event. So that's one option that you can put in there as an additional fail safe. Uh, you can also select which weather warnings you want it to look at as well. So everything from bushfires to potential volcanoes. It is in there. I don't think we'll be needing that. I'll put it back on just to be safe. <laughs> but I must stress that after the storm, I highly recommend going back into the into the settings and putting those back to normal, especially that reserve, reserve capacity because that one's caught me up before. So I do recommend setting a reminder in your phone. Okay, so we've gone through the settings. We've 
made sure our reserve capacity is up there, but you've been unlucky enough to get caught out in a blackout, but lucky enough to already have a SIG Energy battery. So let's go through a few different things to make sure that you're gonna last as long as possible during that blackout period. So first things first, your big power consumers like air conditioning, washers, dryers, EVs if you've got one, make sure none of that is, is turned on or running and avoid using them if they are on, on your backup circuit. All right, so now we're prepared, everything's turned off, We've got the essentials running, now it's time to sit back, relax, watch some TV, jump on the computer because we know that we're set up and we're still gonna be comfortable. So make sure you like and subscribe and don't forget to check out that other video down below.